Joe Burrow? Well, he's still wearing the Jordan 1s. The latest on Joe, plus injury updates on T. Higgins, Chidobe Awuzie, and much, much more with Bengal Seahawks less than 72 hours away. Hi again, everyone, and welcome in to Cincinnati Bengals Talk. I'm James Erpine of AllBengals.com, outside of Paycor Stadium, where the Bengals wrapped up their full padded practice of the week on Thursday. And some good news. Joe Burrow continues to do what we've seen Joe Burrow do over the past couple of weeks, uh, or past week, I would say. Let's, let's be very, very clear. Where he's putting pressure on that calf, he's moving, the movement looks the same uh, as it did on Wednesday, and he's kind of doing more off balance throws than we saw last week as well and so I think he continues to progress like we heard from him on Wednesday so that is a positive step in the right direction as I mentioned in the teaser at the beginning Burrow wearing the Jordan ones I uh, <laughs> it's a topic and he didn't want to talk about it that's fine I tweeted out a few pictures uh, of the cleat so there you go there's your cleat update but let's get to two huge gigantic injury updates because I think Anytime a team wins, and the Bengals obviously won, they beat the Cardinals by a couple of scores last week, it feels like the urgency can take a step back. But I think this game is just as important. Going into the bye week, finding a way to get to 3-3, three and three, avoiding a 2-4 and four start. Last week was must win, no doubt. So is this week. And so if you can have T. Higgins and Chidobe Awuzie on the field, that would go a long way against a really talented Seattle Seahawks team. Let's start with T. Higgins. T. Higgins was limited on Wednesday, back at practice today. I don't have an official injury designation as I record this, but he was in full pads, clearly was moving around, looked like he was going to try. At one point I saw him when Jamar Chase was going through a drill jump, and it wasn't a full-on jump, but he did extend his arm. Why does that matter? Well, he's dealing with a fractured rib and the pain from that of, of being able to, or not being able to reach uh, for the ball, in traffic, all of those things, that, that's the question mark, I think, a big question mark. So Zach Taylor called him day to day, but he was limited on Wednesday. I expect him to be at least limited again on Thursday. So we'll see with C. Things seem to be trending in the right direction. And Cheeto, it felt like the other way, where he injured his back last week, last Thursday, didn't practice after that, didn't play in Sunday's game, didn't practice on Wednesday, but was out there in full pads today. And so we'll see on him as well. If you can have him, it would be huge because you're dealing with a really good wide receiver core in Seattle, starting with DK Metcalf, certainly. And then after that, Tyler Lockett and a guy in Jackson Smith and Jigba, who everybody in Seattle is just waiting to break out. So when you have a, a talented cornerback room like that or a talented wide receiver room like that, even though the Bengals corners are talented and DJ Turner, the second has been great. Make sure you check out our locker room interview with him from Wednesday. It would be nice to have Cheeto, especially against a, a physical, huge, gigantic wide receiver like DK Metcalf. Having someone like Cheeto's speed, his size, and his strength as well would certainly help not only Turner, but Cam and everybody in between. So this is going to be a big, big test on Thursday. But the Bengals, at least there's a chance that both of those guys could be back on the field based on what I saw at practice on Thursday. Uh, big, big test on Sunday, rather. But that said... Just looking at this team and, and where they're at, if they can find a way to get past this, this Seattle team, I, I think you're feeling really good about yourselves going into the bye. And so it's a, a big, big game for a variety of reasons, whether you look at the standings, whether you look at morale, all of those things. And, and I think uh, it, it's uh, certainly winnable, but it's, it's going to be, especially if you don't have T or if you don't have Cheeto, it's going to be a tough one. And they're certainly better. I talked to a few players on Wednesday this is a more talented team than the Arizona Cardinals. And not that they said that directly. I just can tell by their body language how much they respect what uh, Seattle has done over the past couple of years. And so we will see there. But overall, I think that this team, they're capable of it. Obviously, we know that. And injury-wise, uh, we will see. Because if they can get back to, to close to full strength, Joe Burrow, close to 100%, it would go a long way to winning this game and feeling good going into a bye week that is probably coming at the right time. It has been a, a roller coaster of emotions, I think, over the past two and a half months for this Bengals team. Obviously, a lot of that has to do with Joe Burrow, his injury. But if you can get to 3-3, three and three, lick your wounds a bit, and be ready to go 
for the second half of the season, starting with a really tough road matchup against the San Francisco 49ers. I think you do that all day long. Make sure you check out all of our locker room interviews. Joe Burrow, we posted the best of Joe Burrow on Wednesday. Also, DJ Turner the second. At least Jesse Ch caught up one-on-one -on -one with Jermaine Pratt and Logan Wilson. Obviously, defensively, taking away the run is a huge point of emphasis. Not allowing explosives to a really good wide receiver core, another point of emphasis. So check out all those videos. Hit that subscribe button. Ring the bell as we inch closer to 40,000 subscribers. Oh, and by the way, if you're a Bengals fan out there and you haven't checked out my new book, Enter the Jungle, The History of the Cincinnati Bengals, please check it out at CincinnatiBengalsBook.com or wherever you get your books. For Andrew Fox Miller, our channel coordinator, I'm James Erpine. I will be back on Friday with our game preview and a prediction for Sunday's matchup. Until then, thank you so much for watching right here on Cincinnati Bengals Talk.